very much. And uh, my title is Challenges and Achievements in International Programs for International Students at Tokyo Tech. But uh, before uh, making my presentation, I'd like to uh, introduce myself as, as well as the origin of this workshop. Uh, the workshop uh, since has uh, established in 2006, and of course it has been evolved to become a platform discussion about international research and education in among leading Asian universities. But uh, for the first meeting, it, it, it's a photo of first meeting, and I was very deeply involved in establishing the workshop because uh, five or six years ago, I was the staff of Kyoto University as a head of International Affairs Division. And at that time, we just invited uh, from maybe 10 or more uni Asian universities to participate in this workshop, as well as uh, a couple of universities in Kyoto area. It's a very small uh, meeting, and so I can just uh, identify myself easily. But uh, in the second uh, workshop, the size become larger, and now we have so many participants here, so I really appreciate the Professor Mori and the staff of Kyoto University to make this workshop such a big event. But uh, at the beginning, I had an, a fundamental idea why this workshop uh, is, will be being held, which is to share common problems among the participants and work together to find the solution. So in my presentation, I would like to uh, show some programs which uh, Tokyo Tech faced to inter internationalize its curriculum. But uh, first, I would like to explain about our Tokyo Tech, which was is established, founded in 1881. So this year, we are going to have a 130th anniversary. And the composition of students and faculty members is this. The total number of students are ten, around 10,000, half are undergraduates and half are graduates. And, uh, but as to international students, we just have 300 for undergraduates and 800 uh, for graduate. So I should say it's a typical research university. But, and uh, this is a breakdown of international students. Just like many other Japanese universities, uh, the majority of international students are from Asian countries, like China for 133, and the next is from Korea and Vietnam, Indonesia, Thailand, and Malaysia. So the, uh, the international students from like US were just, uh, and US and Canada is just 20 or so. So I have counted the number of uh, native English speak, uh, students from native English speaking countries and the number is just 35. So which means among uh, 1,114 international students, we just have 35 native speakers. Or among, if we include Japanese students, among around 10,000 students, just 35 is uh, native English speakers. So I think just, that's one problem, uh, I mean, challenge we must face. And then this is some explanation about our educational system. And as an undergraduate course, we have three uh, schools, three colleges, School of Science, School of Engineering, and School of Bioscience and Biotechnology. But curriculum is a little bit complicated. We have not only, uh, say, a common course or uh, like uh, ordinary courses, but also we put F uh, freshman seminars and uh, some seminars and graduation thesis. In Japanese universities, it's common that uh, graduate stu uh, undergraduate students to write thesis, or it's called sotsuron, sotsugyo ronbo, uh, thesis for graduation. So it's something unique at uh, Japanese universities. But, and this is some chats about the graduate schools. We have seven schools, including science and engineering, uh, bioscience and biotechnology, interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary graduate school of science and engineering, a graduate school of information science and engineering, and graduate school of decision science and technology, and graduate school of innovation management. So, and then 
Uh, I'm going to explain the, some uh, educational system from the entrance of undergraduate school to I mean, graduation. We have a variety of programs to foster young students, including the uh, creative, creativity education system to undergraduate students. And we also have alliance for major uh, leading universities around Tokyo area uh, for university alliance. For example, Tokyo Dental and Medical University is strong for medical research, and uh, uh, Hitotsubashi University is very strong for social sciences and so on. And also, uh, we have programs like Product Breeder, Leader Incubation Platform, or Global Edge Institute, and so on. These programs, programs are for both for Japanese and foreign students, but at the same time, we have a program for in, especially for international students, which is uh, YCEP. Uh, this is one year or half year exchange program for undergraduates, and also we have an international graduate program for uh, graduate students. And we also joint degree or a dual degree program with Tsinghua University in Beijing. So I'm going to introduce these uh, programs. And first, uh, this is a young scientist exchange program or called YCEP, which is a program for internet, uh, exchange students with, uh, from partner universities started in 2000, and it's a one year or half year program. And uh, we provide a unique opportunity of such long uh, gra uh, graduate thesis. As I told you, uh, such long graduate thesis is unique. Uh, I think in some Asian countries, uh, undergraduate thesis is common, but in, uh, say, European universities, American universities, they are not so common. So it's a very good experience for undergraduate students to do this kind of thesis work by belonging to some laboratories and working with uh, faculty members and working with uh, I mean, senior students or postdocs and so on. So this is one of the successful examples of undergraduate programs in English. But uh, we actually we had a problems, uh, uh, challenges uh, that we faced in establishing and implementing these programs. Uh, one is the difficulty in creating curriculum in English, and the second one is cooperation of faculty members. We cannot give any strong in incentive you know, for faculty members to join this YSET program, so it's a voluntary base. So it's one of the challenges, and also we need to meet the uh, needs to, uh, of students from pa partner universities, and also uh, we ask students to do a thesis or lab work. Uh, so we need to keep attracting able students from partner universities who can catch up with that lab work to uh, just like a graduate uh, research. And then I'm going to explain about the International Graduate Program, or IGP. This is an integrated master's, uh, this is master's program, doctoral program, and as well as integrated master and doctoral program. So, so degree-seeking program uh, taught in English. And uh, fortunately, we could have government scholarships, so we can have been implementing this program for many years. But, and uh, the courses are seven courses. As I told you, we have six graduate schools, but these courses are not uh, uh, the same as the graduate schools. In some, sometimes we need to focus in some specific field. This is sustainable uh, engineering program or international collaboration program or earthquake engineering or so on. So we have reorganized the courses to establish these seven courses. And we had these challenges uh, that we need to overcome, which are establishing a variety of courses in broad areas, not just one, but uh, seven courses. And also we saw and this is a degree-seeking program, and we had a difficulty in creating curriculum leading to the master or doctoral degree. And of course, it's hard for a very tough job for faculty members, because the teaching contents are the same, but they need to create teaching materials in English, uh, including to post on the open course we are at Tokyo Tech. And of course, we need to think about influence to Japanese students Maybe. Unfortunately, Tokyo Tech Japanese students are not so 
I mean, good at joining the classes in English. So, in any way, we have done something. Of course, we, I cannot say that we have solved all the problems, but we have achieved these kind of things, like uh, providing unique opportunity students, especially through love work, and establishing close relationship between faculty and students. Uh, so, uh, we, I think we could have given a good opportunity for, especially for graduate students, to uh, have a good experience at lab. And it's also good to Japanese students. And uh, to, for faculty members, uh, the they ability to I mean, have, have a good uh, teaching method in the international standard. And the reason, of course, unfortunately, uh, we do not have enough time to talk in details, but there are some reasons, especially in Tokyo, Tokyo Tech. First, uh, Tokyo Tech is not so large universities as a, as a leading uh, so general university. We are science and engineering universities. So we could have shared the value of internationalization among faculty members. And at the same time, there was a leadership, very strong leadership by vice president at, Oto at Tokyo Tech. And uh, uh, we made an effort to answer to the expectation of foreign students and partner universities and Tokyo Tech is unique in the field of science and technology and that's why uh, we, and we have no uh, courses in humanities we have some social sciences but we could have focused uh, the program courses uh, to internationalize but uh, I have explained about English taught program and this session topic is uh, teaching in English but uh, I, I would like to add this program, which is Tokyo Tech Team for Joint Graduate Program. This program is not taught in English, taught in Japanese or Chinese. And of, but at the same time, English is also useful and important in doing our research. But our idea is that uh, not uh, just um, doing an English course, setting an English course is not uh, I mean, most important thing. Uh, important thing for internationalizing the curriculum does not necessarily mean to offer classes in English. Language is not the most important thing, but the most important thing is enhancing the quality of education and research, which is, I believe, ultimate goal for education or internationalization. So at the same time, uh, leadership is very important, but also at the same time, strong will of faculty members is also important. And of course, mutual understanding with partner universities is necessary to establish programs for exchange students, and recruiting talented students is a key to success. Actually, Tokyo Tech have learned these kind of things are very important to internationalize, uh, the, to uh, make the internationalize the curriculum. So I would like to put some points uh, that should be considered in creating the English program. First, uh, can teaching standard and research environment of English program be the same as Japanese one or not? Especially, unlike other, some other universities, most of Tokyo Tech faculty members are Japanese. Of course, they can speak and teach in English, but not so good at, uh, I mean, native English, uh, native speakers. So we should check whether the teaching research and the research standards are the same as which we do in Japanese language. And the next point maybe will be attractive uh, to foreign students, as attractive as program offered by leading universities in the US. We should think the competitor is American universities or English universities. And I can find that many European universities out, uh, out of England making the same kind of efforts. So we need to compete. And also, we have to think of a strong leadership within the university, at the same time, as a common interest among faculty members. And the next thing is, what kind of benefit will the program bring to the universities? 
And the next one is, will it be sustainable not only in academic point of view, of view but also in administrative point of view, including finance? Actually, money is very important too. And uh, will, it, will the faculty member, for example, uh, post the full content of classes on OCW or something? We need so many things to solve. So the time is up, and so finally, I hope this workshop will be a good opportunity to share our experiences and discuss to find solutions uh, which will lead to enhanced quality of international education of leading universities in Asia. Thank you very much.